We know that Putin is not serious about talks. He is still wantonly bombing innocent citizens across Ukraine. And that is why we need to do more to ensure that he loses and we force him to think again. We must not just stop Putin in Ukraine, but we must also look to the long term. We need to ensure that any future talks don't end up selling Ukraine out or repeating the mistakes of the past. We remember the uneasy settlement of 2014, which failed to give Ukraine lasting security. Putin just came back for more. That is why we cannot allow him to win from this appalling aggression, and why this government is determined Putin's regime should be held to account at the International Criminal Court. We will work to restore Ukraine's territorial integrity and sovereignty. We set up a negotiation unit to ensure the strongest possible support is available to the Ukrainians alongside our international partners. We have played a leading role alongside our G7 allies in driving the response to Putin's war, and I want to ensure that unity continues. Sanctions were put on by the G7 in unison, and they should not be removed as long as Putin continues with his war and he still has troops in Ukraine. That is not all. We need to ensure that Putin can never act in this aggressive way again. Any long-term settlement needs to include a clear sanction snapback, which would be triggered automatically by any Russian aggression. In the aftermath of Putin's war, Ukraine will need our help to build back. In these exceptional circumstances, we have a duty to step up with a new reconstruction plan for rebuilding Ukraine. And we will work with the international community to do this.